In this video, we'll be learning how to solve two-step equations. In our example for today, we have a negative 30 equals 13x minus 4. Now this equation might look unusual because we're used to having the variable on the left-hand side, and this time it's on the right-hand side. Really, it doesn't it's not that big of a deal, so don't freak out about this because math is simple. Now, if we look at our first equation, we have to isolate our variable. And this is our main objective is to get the x by itself. But first, before we do that, we have to get everything that's attached to that x moved over to the left-hand side. And so if I look at this negative 4, which is attached to this x, how I can move the 4 over to the other side is to add positive 4, or it's inverse operation. And so we have negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0. And so that cancels out. But what we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So here we're going to add positive 4 to the negative 30. When we go ahead and make sure our equal signs are in line with each other, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the 13x. And then negative 30 plus 4 gives us a negative 26. The next step we need to see is the 13 is attached to the x. How is it attached? Well, it's with multiplication. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. And so we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 13. Now 13 divided by 13 is x, and negative 26, and this is a positive 13, so a negative and a positive gives me a negative answer, and 26 divided by 13 is going to equal 2. So the correct answer, our answer is x equals a negative 2. Now we can move this into standard form and flip it around, and so we can have x equals a negative 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this problem a different way. I'm going to rewrite the problem negative 30 equals 13x minus 4. And before I get started, I could go ahead and take this entire expression on the right hand side and just move it over to the left hand side and take this constant of negative 30 and move it over to the right hand side. So let's go show that we're going to move it over and we have to make sure when we rewrite the equation that we take every sign along with us. So we'll have 13x minus 4 equals a negative 30. So 13x minus 4 equals a negative 30. Now this is the problem that we're used to seeing. All of our variables are on the left, and then we have to move anything that's attached. So this negative 4 is attached. So I'm going to go ahead and add its inverse, which is a positive 4, to both sides. This cancels out. We are going to bring our 13x down. Try to keep our equal signs in line with each other. And now this 4, I should have moved it over in the 1's place. So this is negative 30 plus 4, which gives us a negative 26. We're going to go ahead and divide by our coefficient, which is the 13. It's attached to the x by a multiplication. So we're going to, the inverse is going to divide both sides by 13. 13 divided by 13 gives me x by itself and negative 26 divided by 13. Remember, this is a positive 13, so a negative and a positive is a negative. 26 divided by 13 is 2. So we do get the same number, um, and as you get more experience, it doesn't matter what side the x value is on, so just keep on working at it. Let's go ahead and check our answers. So I know that I'm going to pull it over here. We're going to do a quick check. It's always important for us to check. So let's have negative 30 equals 13. And where I see a variable, I'm going to put a parenthesis. 
and then I'm going to add the negative 4. I'm going to insert into the parentheses a negative 2. So we have a negative 30 on the left-hand side. 13 times a negative 2 is a negative 26 minus 4. Negative 30 is going to equal negative 26 and a negative 4. Now I choose to look at this when I'm adding integers. I need to keep the sign. I'm going to take the sign before the term. And so this is really a negative 4. And this is really a negative 26. And then I'm just going to add those two together. So negative 26 and a negative 4 gives me that negative 30. So therefore, the answer checks out. And I know that I have the correct answer. So remember, in conclusion for today, that it doesn't matter what side the variable is on. I showed you two ways today, and you pick the one that makes math simple for you. All right, guys, have a good evening, and talk to you soon.